Remove the bolts by turning them counterclockwise. There are three bolts that need to be removed. The steps needed to access the other side are the same as this side. Remove the screw by turning it counterclockwise. Now that we have the screw out in here, all we have to do is kind of pull back on the bumper here and just kind of get it off like that. We're gonna pull back the grill a little bit. You need to be careful because the bumpers and the hood release, you gotta kind of lift this up and make sure that it gets over the hood release there. But now, if you can see, we can pull this back um, pretty pretty good and it's going to be enough for us to get the housing out. Remove the rivets. Pry up the center of the rivet first. This will unlock it. Next, pry up the base of the fastener. There are four rivets that need to be removed. Lift the panel to remove it. Remove the bolts by turning them counterclockwise. There are five bolts that secure the housing to the vehicle. We recommend wearing gloves when changing your lights. The oils on your fingers can create hot spots and cause the bulb to burn out prematurely. There are three more bolts that need to be removed. Considering the amount of effort required to access the bulb assembly, we recommend replacing both sides at once. We recommend changing your bulbs in pairs. If one bulb is burnt out, its counterpart bulb is likely near the end of its life as well. Bulbs get dimmer by 20% over time, which is another great reason to change both bulbs at once. Pull back, and there's a connector right here. You're gonna to wanna to pop this off of the housing because um, it does kind of get in the way when you're pulling out the housing. So if you pop that off and kind of just push it out of the way, now we should be able to kind of slide this out. Be careful because there's still a section on this side that's kind of um, gonna push on the bumper. But once you get it pushed far forward enough, you can pull out uh, the other side here like that so pull out the outside and then kind of pivot it out like that Push the tab and pull the connector to remove it Now you can replace your housing with a new one Push the connector straight in to connect the new housing Reinsert the bulb housing into the vehicle You may need to wiggle the housing while you push to get it back in position. If you're having trouble, try inserting it at an alternate angle. Reconnect the connector. Replace the bolts by turning them clockwise. Make sure the bulb housing is secure. Replace the upper panel. Align the panel with the body before securing it to the vehicle. It's important to make sure it's set properly, otherwise it won't attach correctly. Replace the rivets. Align the base of the rivet first. Next, push down on the center to lock it in place. Align the grill with the body of the vehicle before securing it. It's important to make sure it's set properly, otherwise it won't attach correctly. As we're going to come in the front here, you got to lift up and make sure that the front 
gets over the uh, the bumpers and whatnot there and this should be all lined up at this point and go ahead and just push this back in replace the screw by turning it clockwise Replace the remaining bolts. Replace the bolts by turning them clockwise. Make sure the assembly is tight and secure.